Good morning to all. I am Dr. Gopal Dutt, working in the School of Vocational Studies, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. In this session, we are going to discuss about XML and XML trees. This is the part one of this series. The learning objectives of this session are to identify, to explore the basics of XML, its key components and differences between XML and HTML. In the last session, we were discussing about XHTML doc type, defining the document type definition, XHTML syntactic rules and differences between HTML and XHTML. So I hope you have learned all such things from the last lecture. Now we will discuss about the basics of XML. XML or extensible markup language is a markup language that is designed to store and transport data. It is a textual format that consists of a set of rules for encoding documents in a format that is both human readable as well as machine readable. Do you know why is XML used? You should know. XML is often used for data exchange between systems, configuration files and as a format for storing structured data. The design goals of XML emphasize simplicity, generality and usability across the internet. The main purpose of XML is serialization, for example, storing, transmitting and reconstructing arbitrary data. Unlike HTML, XML does not specify how to display or to format data, whereas it just carries the data. That point to be noted, I am highlighting again. Unlike HTML, XML does not specify how to display or to format data, it just carries data. Is anything more about uh, XML? Would you want to know? Obviously, yes, we want to know. Just understand some of the key points about the XML. XML is a textual data format with strong support via Unicode for different human languages. XML is widely used for the representation of arbitrary data structures such as those used in web browsers, web services through the internet. XML documents are basically made up of elements which can have attributes describing them and may contain some textual content or more elements as its children. All XML documents must have a root element which is the ancestor of all the other elements in the document. The XML parsers are designed to be very strict and will stop parsing malformed documents. As a markup language, XML labels categorize and structurally organize information. XML tags represent the data structure and contain metadata. What is within the tags is data encoded in the way of the XML standard specifies. An additional XML schema that is called XSD defines the necessary metadata for interpreting and validating XML. Now XML applications. Web applications. XML is commonly used in web services to exchange data between different applications over the internet. SOAP that is called Simple Object Access Protocol and REST Representational State Transfer APIs often use XML for data serialization. 
configuration files many software applications including web servers databases and content management system use xml files for configuration settings data inter exchange this is another application of xml xml is used as a standard format for data interchange between different systems it is often employed in scenarios where data needs to be transferred from one system to another the next application of xml is data storage xml can be used to store structured data in a human readable format this makes it suitable for applications where data needs to be stored in a way that can be easily edited and managed by humans another application is configurable user interface some applications use xml to define the structure and layout of user interfaces another one is database import export facility xml is sometimes used as an intermediate format for importing and exporting data between databases it provides a structured way to represent database records another application of xml is scientific data xml is used in scientific applications to represent and exchange experimental data research findings and metadata in a standardized and interoperable format rdf and linked data resource description framework and linked data technologies use xml based formats to represent and link data on the web enabling the creation of interconnected data sets now we will briefly discuss some of the key terminologies which are used in xml the popular one is xml document what does mean by xml document an xml document is a text based file that contains structured data using a set of tags enclosed in angle brackets and the term is element an element is a fundamental building block of an xml document it consists of a start tag content and an end tag for example there is a tag named person another tag named name another one is age etc the another terminology which is popularly known by our learners that is tag tags are used to enclose elements in an xml documents another term is attribute attributes provide additional information about an element and pre placed within the start tag of the element for example a person is a tag and the attribute is mentioned there is id so id and gender in this example are the attributes of a person element the another term which is popularly known that is root element the root element is the outermost element in an xml document all other elements are nested within the root element nested element is another the terminology an element that is contained within another element is called a nested element c data that is the another terminology which is popularly used in xml c data means character data is a way to include text that should not be treated as markup it is often used to include characters that have a special meaning in xml another terminology in xml is namespace a namespace is a way to avoid element name conflicts when using xml in different context or different vocabularies it is defined using a uri uniform resource identifier 
in that case in this example the xml attribute defines the xml namespace another one is document type definition i have already discussed but in brief again we will discuss the dtd a dtd is a formal declaration of the structure and rules for an xml document it defines the elements attributes and their relationships xml schema xml schema is a more powerful and flexible way to define the structure and data types of xml documents it is an alternative to document type definition and allows for more precise validation the another key terminology which is used in xml is called parsing a parsing is a process of analyzing an xml document to extract data or validate its structure xml parsers are used to read and interpret xml documents serialization is important to know serialization is the process of converting data from a programmatic representation into an xml document xpath you to know what is the meaning of xpath it is a language for navigating and querying xml documents it allows you to select specific elements or attributes based on their location or properties within the xml documents x slts extensible style sheet language transformations the x slt is a language used for transforming xml documents into different formats such as html or another xml structure well formed xml you have heard frequently the term well formed so the well formed xml means an xml document is well formed if it adheres to the basic syntax rules of xml including having a single root element properly nested elements and balanced start and end text that is called well formed xml the new term is valid xml an xml document is valid if it is not only is well formed but also adheres to a specific dtd document type definition or xml schema conforming to the defined structure and data types so now let's move with a new title the difference between xml and html now we are here with a new title differences between xml and html this is one of the basic functional area where we to know the differences between xml and html based on some of the criteria the first criteria for such difference is purpose xml is primarily designed to transport and store data it focuses on describing the structure and content of data in a hierarchical and organized manner the xml often used for data exchange and storage such as configuration files data interchange between different systems and representing structured data whereas html is designed for creating and displaying web content html is used to structure and format documents that are meant to be rendered in web browsers html is focusing on defining the layout presentations and interactivity of web pages another criteria for finding the difference between xml and html is tags xml allows users to define their own custom tags making it highly extensible and flexible 
these tags do not have predefined meanings and are used to describe the structure of the data in case of html it uses a predefined set of tags and attributes to structure web content these tags have specific meanings and are used to define headings paragraphs links images forms etc the tags in html are standardized for web browsers the next criteria for finding the difference between xml and html that is syntax xml has strict syntax syntax rules every opening and opening tag must have a corresponding closing tag and attributes must be enclosed within double quotes xml is case sensitive in case of html it is more forgiving in terms of syntax browsers often tolerate unclosed tags and attribute values may not allows may not always require quotes means double quotes inverted commas html is also case insensitive the next one is validation the criteria name validation xml document can be validated against a document type definition or an xml schema definition to ensure that they confirm to a specific structure whereas html documents are typically validated by web browsers as they are loaded but this validation is less stricter in comparison to xml html5 introduced a simplified validation model the next one is presentation versus data xml is presentation neutral it does not provide any built in styling or layout capabilities it is up to the application or system consuming the xml data to determine how to present it in case of html it includes elements and attributes for defining the presentation of web content such as fonts color layout and interactive features html is focused on how content should be displayed to the users so these are some of the differences between xml and html based on some set of criteria now at the end of this session the learning outcome of this lecture of this session understanding of xml and its components applications of xml and uh, the differences between xml and html i hope this session may be useful for the participants so at the end of this session i will guide you for the next lecture in the next lecture we will discuss about xml schema document object model in short called dom and xml trees thank you